Also in the process of watching Jacqueline Hill's video and boy. I don't know. I had her first, um, I have her first, was that the first palette that she launched? I'm not sure if it was the first one, but I, I have that one and I really like it. I feel like it's aesthetically pleasing. It's really cute. The product was nice. So even though she's saying that she failed, I don't, I don't think, you know, you completely failed in life. Okay, fine, this one didn't work out, but that doesn't mean that other things are not going to work out, you know? Sometimes this is how it goes when you have a business or when you have a product, you know? It, it just be like that. I used to run a business a few years ago, and boy, it was hard. They used to say for the first... um three to four years of starting up a business you don't make no profits and that was not a lie it was hard it was very hard it was so hard i i i had to i had to put so much money in and then the one year when um you know was really the time to start seeing the returns and stuff like that is when i moved here and I mean, I did start to see some of the returns prior to moving here, but then, you know, I moved here and it kind of fell apart because you can trust people with your business and I thought you could, but you just can't. But I feel like too, this is how you realize that you live and you learn. You go through these processes and sometimes you fail and boy, does it suck when you fail. It sucks so bad when it doesn't work out the way how you planned it, but that doesn't mean that life is over. God has something else out there planned that's supposed to work out a better way for you. And that's just how I feel. And that's what I've been living by for a couple of years. And so far it's been working, to be honest. But um, it's just sad that things didn't really work out the way how she planned it. I mean, I'm not mad at her. I feel like what I wanted was for her to, you know, jump in front of it and say, guys, listen, which I feel like she kind of did too with her tweets and stuff, saying she's trying to figure out what's going on and whatever. She said she refunded everybody. I didn't buy nothing, so obviously I don't know. But if she did, that's good. So she could, sometimes you have to take an L and learn how to move forward from the L and to be better after that, you know? Anyways, that's my two cents. And I'm going to go back to labeling my containers and shit. I just got home. I'll show you guys what I bought at the Dollar Tree. This is to put some milk powder in. I want to skip this inside of the bathroom. It's a soap dish because um, the black soap that I use keeps running on everything else. So I want to just put it in one on its own. I got some Ziploc bags. I got a book because I'm going to start reading on my own from early and then take some notes and out of that book. I got a pencil case. I got some labels to put on the containers that I bought the other day and this one. And then I got this glass container to put milk inside of. What else do I have? I bought these two fresheners, cashmere wood, and I'm going to put one inside here because I really love the smell of cashmere wood. It's like one of my favorite scents right now. So good, oh my god. It shouldn't be okay for one thing. This smells so good, I love that. But um, yeah, that's pretty much all I got. Everything else is trash. Cut this off. Oh, I also got some um, some highlighters. Love that. I wore my little slippers today that I got, my little sandals rather, that I got from Target today and it's nice and comfortable. Love that for me because comfort is actually something that's really important to me as opposed to, you know, just the style of something. I also want it to be comfortable. Oh, my AirPod. Lip gloss, gums. Let's put this pocket belt back. So now I'm gonna change my clothes really quickly and do a bit of organizing here and there. Completely failed. Like.
this is what I have. I don't have the best penmanship, so don't judge me, but I have cereal, flour, lasco, spaghetti, crackers. I need to go back to the Dollar Tree because I need to get one more or two more of that great container. One for oatmeal. I have a container back there for milk right now that I'm going to pour the milk into. I think I may have something else. I said that the sugar is already in a container. What else do I have? I think I want to get some, um, a container for cookies. I always have chocolate chip cookies here and maybe Oreos. I have one for rice. Okay, yeah. Yeah. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get a container for cookies and one for Oreos. 